2007. And our main mission was to install a node 2 or Harmony to the International Space Station and then relocate a, a very large uh, solar array truss that we call P6 from the very top of the station out to the very port wing. And in the course of uh, that activation of the P6 solar array truss, one of the, uh, the solar array blankets as it was being deployed uh, caught and was ripped apart during the deploy sequence. We knew that there, was, uh, uh, there were two small areas of, uh, of damage, uh, one about uh, three feet in length, another about a foot in length. And uh, we, we knew that uh, you know, probably the guide wire and the hinge wires in the solar array blanket uh, were involved, but how they were involved, you know, what, what we'd actually see at the work site was a, a huge unknown. And I thought, uh, what should I do now? The solution that you know, brilliant engineers on the ground came up with was to develop something called, that we called cufflinks. Uh, they were up to five feet in length. There were uh, 12 gauge wire wrapped in tape and then two little toggles on the end of them, kind of like a cufflink. And uh, the idea was to put these uh, cufflinks in holes that were already existing in the, the solar array blanket and uh, one on either side of the damage. And that would take the, uh, the load path as the, uh, as the solar array was extended out to its full, full reach. Uh, we didn't know that if, if they would fit, if they were the right length. We, we had really good engineering on the ground, but things change a little bit on orbit. These arrays had been up there uh, for almost seven years by this point. So it was, uh, it was pretty sporty. <laughs> 